In this video, we shall demonstrate how to remove the hair extension bonds. The hair extension bond should be removed or replaced every three to four months, depending on hair growth and condition. You will have checked for any psoriasis or eczema, as well as any lumps, moles, cuts or abrasions. You should always ask if the client is aware of any such skin conditions. Applying chemical treatment could be very painful if any open wounds or skin conditions are present. Also, be wary of traction alopecia before proceeding, a condition of hair thinning or hair loss due to excessive tension on the hair follicle. Protective clothing is essential for you and your client. You must wear gloves to protect from contact dermatitis and a plastic apron to protect your clothes. A gown and a protected collar will have been placed over the client's shoulders in order to protect them. Remember to always use the removal techniques and tools described in the manufacturer's instructions. Start at the back of the head, depending on where the bonds are applied. Apply a small amount of bond removal solution onto a cotton wool pad and dab the bond with the solution. Do this for 30 seconds to allow the solution to penetrate the bond. Prise the bond apart and gently slide the extension out. If there's some resistance, add more removal solution and try again. Never pull extensions out as this can damage the hair. Place the removed extensions in a trolley for disposal or reapplication if in an appropriate condition and check the hair for residue. If some of the adhesive does remain in the hair, Dab it with a bond removal solution for easy removal. Repeat this, working your way up and around the head until all of the extensions have been removed. Shampoo and condition the hair thoroughly to ensure any dead skin cells, product buildup or bond residue are removed. Dry to complete the service or, if more extensions are to be applied, dry in preparation for an extension service. Check that the client is happy with the results and remember to provide aftercare advice on how to help restore the hair's condition. This will include a salon visit to check for traction alopecia.